the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Hey everybody, God bless you. I, I hope you're going to take time to listen to our video. I appreciate you taking time to, to stop and see what's going on. And hope you take interest to listen to the entire video. We're going to break them down into segments, uh, A, B, C, and D. Bar, put them out on YouTube. And the topic of the day, I mean, I'm, I'm blown away. I'm telling you about this fact of why we need to study the Word of God and be doers of the Word of God. Because it's it's obvious that some people don't want to be doers of the Word of God. Uh, it's, it's befuddles me sometimes when you think about everybody that say they profess they're Christian, but then they don't do what, don't bear the fruits of a Christian. The fruits of the Spirit find in Galatians 5, 22 to 23. And then the fruits of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, Long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, and such. There's no law. But what we see is some people are actually teaching their children to be, uh, to hate, to hurt, to do bad things, to ignore the teaching of Christ. And we we know the history, all of you do. That's why some people are trying to ban books or try to reindoctrinate people to think a different way, but Reindoctrination doesn't work if you're still teaching a child to steal, kill, and destroy. The scripture I put up here said, Does dehumanizing others mean it is okay with God to steal, kill, and destroy? That's in John 10:10. 10, 10. Does God accept the dehumanizing, first of all, because you gotta remember, <laughs> we Christ, we're not the creation. Right? God created us. No body, whether you are a, a black supremacist or a white supremacist, can make somebody different from what God sees them to be. We're all creation of God. And the Bible said, if you receive and confess your mouth the Lord Jesus, Yeshua, as your personal Lord and Savior in your heart, that God's not raised. That God has, excuse me, God has raised him from the dead, that I should be saved. But if you believe not, that's a different story. But I'm talking about if you believe that God raised the dead and you confess your mouth to the Lord Jesus, you're saying is that he's Lord in your life, not you. And if he's Lord in your life, then you should do what he taught. And you know he didn't teach discrimination. He didn't teach to kill people. He didn't teach to destroy people. So he taught to love one another. And if you're doing opposite of those things because you feel it's validated in the eyes of man or you feel that that's worth your eternal death, you know, or the, is it worth giving up your eternal life to have things here in this present world that benefits you and discriminates or go against other people? just cause you to steal, kill, and destroy from other people for your personal benefit, that you're saying is that your personal life outweighs eternal life. That you're willing to give up eternal life. You know, John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son to whosoever believes in him shall not perish but an everlasting life. And if you're saying that it's more important for a personal gain, for personal pride, for, like I said, black supremacy or white supremacy, that you believe that those things are more important than eternal life, that you choose to teach yourself, teach your children to go for eternal death. Eternal death means disconnected from God. If you think that's more important, uh, I'd like you to put that on the scale. We talked about a scale of life today. When you put God on the scale, you put Christ on the scale, you put the Holy Spirit on the scale, and then you put your works. You know, everything that you can try to gain for yourself and your children, 
you put those on the scale, it's imbalance. Because one is going to be higher than the other. And when you have a false balance, that's when you can find yourself out of sync with God and in jeopardy for eternal death. Eternal death means separated from God. And that's the choice that you have to make. And I'm recommending choose life. Amen. So uh, I hope, I think you're going to enjoy this segment. I know you will. And all I want you to do is just remember that Yeshua, Jesus, is Lord. And if you love him, keep his commandment. And his commandment is not about steal, kill, and destroy, but the life and have kind of life more abundantly. Amen. All right, like I said, we're gonna break it down. Don't forget to subscribe and leave comments if you can. And I see you when I see you. God bless you. Check it later. I hope you enjoy the video. Bye bye. <laughs> you basically, matter of fact, I, I had a little TikTok the other day, y'all. It is a rabbit trail. It's a very good TikTok, brother Aston. He, uh, they, they, they was talking about man, and when they die, they will go to the gates of heaven and say that you must spend a day in heaven and a day in hell, and then you will choose whether you want to be in heaven or you want to be in hell. Now, that's a no-brainer, right? Yeah. From, from from that conversation. And then when he went in the day of heaven, they saw the glory of God, they saw the angels singing and all that stuff. And and and, and is this is a twist. I actually had a lady ask me this one time, a long, long time ago, said, wouldn't that be boring? You know, and it, they were saying that based on what they think they're supposed to see in heaven, yeah. they think it's going to be boring, right? Because you get all the drama and all this stuff. So then they went a day in hell. And they saw, it was interesting how they met, they saw luxury hotels. <laughs> they saw, they saw a golf course, you know, you like golfing. Yeah. There was a golf course out there. Old oh, food was made by the finest shelves, uh, shelf cookers and stuff. And, and, and then they said, uh, then they had like, this sleep in this king size bed and everything, right? And then they had to go back to the gate. So they had a day in heaven, right? And they had a day in hell. And and and, and they, they said this time they were using these people in the part of joke with politicians. Anyway, they were using the set. And the guy said, I, I and, and look, they, they use our prominent pop. They did the politicians that we support as the people that had this option, right? And, and uh, they even used Joe Biden as the last one. <laughs> he said, and he said, I, I, I can't believe I'm doing this. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna go to hell, I'm gonna go to hell, <laughs> right? So, so he said, okay, that you, we gave you the right to choose. You, mm -hmm. you had the right to choose. You saw all that luxury and all that other stuff that you saw and you, you liked the golfing and everything like that. So, okay, you, you made your choice. So you go ahead, you willingly, just like life, when you think about it, this is a good parable when you think about it, you go go ahead and go, go to hell, because you chose to hell, right? But when they got to hell, what do you think they saw? They ain't see none of that. They ain't see of that. And, 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 they, and they asked, they said, wait a minute, wait a minute, where, where's the luxury and the, the food and the, the golf course and all that? He said, yesterday was a, a campaign. They voted. Yeah. <laughs> and they were trying to use that thing because of politics, yeah. right? They said that you Yeah. Yesterday was the campaign. <laughs> the day before that, you, you, no, the day before that was the campaign. Uh -huh. Yesterday you voted. Today you getting the results of your vote. The vote. <laughs> and that's so that they have many layers, even that little parable. Yeah. But it was is the fact is that people are drawn off on the physical cardinal thing. Yeah, and and don't recognize that it is torment and and, and hell and the lake of fire. All that stuff matters. And from an eternal perspective, you looked at the, uh, you took a day, which is almost like they're talking about life, right? It's like it's a vapor. Yeah. Yeah. We 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 take. Some of us are making decisions on a dash. Uh, 
being a short period. When you compare eternity with the, how long we live, isn't that something? Yeah, it, it doesn't matter. You know, you could be the oldest living mm. human uh, in this modern world. You know, uh, you can do the 120. Yeah. And it's still, it, it won't compare. And, and matter of fact, the latter end of that is probably going to be suffering. Mm. I mean, you, you'll be as a child because you'll need people. You know, most people who live at that age, they got to have people caring for them like they're a child. I know. Isn't that something? That is something. That That's what, that, and I think people are thinking, just take that parable in itself and understand we're making the decision to die. But just like Adam and Eve, it was, if we eat this, they knew. If we touched it, they knew they would die. And 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 the ones we talk because did you you fin go ahead and finish it up go ahead and finish it up okay exactly. uh, your 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 eyes are wide open and and the thing about it is that that when we talk about that scripture that says not everybody that says Lord Lord should enter the kingdom and for you to have the audacity to say not you I'm talking well, just gonna bring the scripture up hang on just bring it up I'm I'm, a, I'm a, let me get to it. We talking about, and not everybody is gonna say, "Lord, Lord, should enter into the kingdom," uh, because some of y'all, I think, some of y'all got this uh, this impression that this is what you're gonna do. I think, you know, my brother, I think some of them actually think they're gonna do this. They're gonna be there. There, there is so much confusion going on, and the enemy is really, really working because. Mm. There are so many variations of the truth. Yeah. Different than, than the internet. You you pull up something that's an absolute, and you're going to get not only the absolute, but everything that is that is a false that applies to it. Yes, yeah, sir. Could have used man's reason, human and reasoning. Yeah. So this is what I I call it. You're gonna reason until you look at God, and all of us are gonna do it whether y'all like it or not. I'm telling you, that's true. You're gonna go before God. Every the Bible says that every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess. It says in the New Testament as well as in the Old Testament, I believe, right? So you we're all gonna go before him. And he said, Besides me, there is no other God. So all of a sudden you're gonna go before him and see you and do you know what I think, Brother Answer? I think that because once you confront it face to face, be in the throne before him, you already knew your, your reasoning is kicked out the door because all your reasoning had to base on one premise, wasn't it? There is no God or that he doesn't care about what you do. But by the time you sit that my, my, my carnal thinking makes me accept it. Yeah. Because cause now I got the truth. Yeah. Now I can sit there. I see him. You see what I'm saying? In other yeah. words, the what 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 I guess we have an unknown variable that has to be accepted by faith. So what I do is I'm gonna ignore that unknown variable, and now I'm gonna reason my math out, my decision out, with the absence of him. I'm gonna set yeah. I'm gonna set the parameters that suit me. Yeah, I can do the math. My math adds up, then don't it? Yeah. As yeah. Long as it appeals to me. And, and it, it is what I want. Mm -hmm. And I don't have to put. I don't have to put him in. He's not in the equation. Yeah. I can be. I can be. Basically, what 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 he did. Exactly. She 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 threw out mm -hmm. the parameters mm -hmm. that truly apply. Yeah. And then she went to what she mm -hmm. desired, mm -hmm. which was a lie that was offered to her. Yeah. And, and the thing, yeah, because God, the God said part was out. The God piece was out of her decision making. People, huh, that makes sense, doesn't it? God decision, God in your math, all your reasoning. If He's not part of the equation, then you can reason everything out you want. Yeah, I mean, can, if, if if you look at the temptations from Yeshua, mm -hmm. if if God wasn't in the forefront of his thinking, 
Mm -hmm. then he wouldn't have been no different than anyone else. Exactly. The, the appeal of all that, mm -hmm. he would have fell short of to. Exactly. And, yeah. and, and, and this is the other part to that. If Satan had it to offer, that mm -hmm. means that he has it to mm -hmm. offer. He has it to offer. You know, he, he, mm -hmm. he, didn't, he didn't lose it. He just offered a lot. He, he still offers the same yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, 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 and the fact is, is we, we tend to give Satan all this, this glory and power mm -hmm. and, and authority when he only uses the authority and power that is given to us. That's what he and, did. And, and, and through his deception, he uses our authority yes. and power. Exactly. In hey, this physical realm, because he has none anymore. <laughs> hey, hey, and I would use it, a good example of that is the, uh, he offer you a chance to win the lottery. I'm not putting the lottery down. Y'all can play lottery all day. I'm not putting that. But what is the appeal to the lottery? Yeah. It's 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 the, it's the advertising how much money, right? Yeah. I, I remember that one commercial where they sat there and had the people uh, whether they're gonna make a decision to play or not. And in the background you had all these people, you know, dropping in the money and all that other stuff. And <laughs> and, and and then when the person decided they're not gonna do it, they all just went away. And, and a lot of people sit there investing the, the two dollars. Some of us do smart things. It's one dollar. Some of us do hundreds of dollars. But the, look, when you look at who wins, it's one ticket. <laughs> it's amazing. always the person I just went in and bought one ticket. I ain't even think nothing about it. I just, you know, I don't know what the heck. Go ahead, put a dollar. Right. But other people sit there trying to play the game. If I put a hundred yeah, tickets in, hundreds of dollars for hundreds of tickets. <laughs> For me, what was it? Was the odds of a million or something, or yeah. whatever? The, the odds ain't that much different. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't putting a dent into, yeah. yeah. And so, but the point is that it's 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 offered. You play, you will, you may get, mm -hmm. but if you don't play, you definitely won't get, yeah. right? But it's, it's the vain glory is the point. And then, so the scripture we're talking right here, read that for Matthew 7, 21 and 23. Yeah. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. But he that doeth the will of my Father, which will is of my Father. Father. Yes, sir. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out death, and in thy name done many. Many? Words. Yeah. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Now, why did, the question is, and, and, and this goes with the, we'll, we'll wrap it up with this. How do, Brother Adam, why would you think they, are they asking that question because they believe that they did? prophesied in his name and cast well, out devils in his name and done minimal work. I think most of them are going to well, put the part on minimal they, work. They, they, they did do it in his name, mm -hmm. but they did it for personal gain and personal uh, uh, reasons. Mm -hmm. It wasn't done in love and it wasn't done for the sake of, of of the masses of of, of, of sharing mm -hmm. uh, the gospel and love, it was sharing it for a necessity of gain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the one who works the power validated, but of course, not the, I guess I say you, brother, because they did say it in his name, most likely, I guess, but it wasn't validated. It wasn't done by him. In a righteous. For righteous reason, it was it, unrighteous. Exactly. Reason. Exactly. That's, that's, that's what that iniquity means. That's what he said. Because that's you what you're working in an in, unrighteous manner. Right. You won't live by me. Yeah. You. But, you. Look, but check this out. But those people that did receive, mm -hmm. they received. They received. <laughs> yeah. They received. 
that that's a, that goes back to that parable, isn't it? That, that the parable, in fact, is that the good ground. Yeah. It fell on good ground. The question is how many people are allowing stuff to fall on bad ground? And the, what you say, the chaos in this world? It is a lust of other things that you're in too, right? Lust and all that stuff. All these things chokes the word and it becomes unprofitable to you. Unfruitful. Unfruitful to you. And the question is, do you, and then it will ask the question, do you know that? And the answer is probably just like Eve, right? Yeah. God said, I knew what God said. I I just I just didn't think I needed to. I thought I should be a black but supremacist. What you said seemed more appealing. <laughs> yes. Than what yeah, yeah. That's what I'm thinking. In, in other words, all these other things are more appealing to to uh, to them to be the best yeah. from them to be superior. Well, I'm talking about black supremacy and white supremacy. I said I put those two in there so that y'all know I'm not focusing on even one of them. Because it's any form of it's any form of what I call self-elevating. Uh, when you put in yourself, your selfish interest, yeah, carnal uplifting. Oh, spiritual. Which I does it right. You are definitely. Well, if you're teaching your child to hate, what that in the scripture say? He will hate his brothers and murder. And we know that murder has no eternal life about it anyhow. You you you're teaching your children, because we're talking about a generational thing too that's going on today. If you teach it, I thought you loved your children. Brother, I'm gonna throw that at you. Why would someone teach their child to have eternal death? That's crazy. That is crazy as heck. To just Yes, yeah. We'll call it love. And call it love. I love you. That I'm, I, I want you to have the best. It's almost like this. It's almost like I, I, I'd rather you have the best in this lifetime opposed to uh, I don't know. I, it, it, when you really think, when you put him in the equation, when you put eternal life in the equation, it doesn't add up to do no, it, everything. Everything else pales to it. Everything in existence pales to eternal life. If you actually are able to understand mm -hmm. the substance of both, yeah. If, if 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 the revelation is set before you of of your Mortal existence yeah. versus your immortality yeah. of existence. If, if if you put that on a scale, mm. it, it just does not equate. I mean, it 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 does not even fathom as a feather I'm out. on the scale. Yeah, that's what I'm sitting there saying. It's like it's, it's so obvious. That if you put it on the scale, he said about false balance. Is he, is one of the yeah. he don't like a false balance, you know, because oh, because the false balance, he is is not a balance. It's not balanced. It's not balanced. Yeah, and, my, and the bad thing about the you page is saying is, it's like this is what it really is looking yeah. like, yeah. you know. But you deceiving yourself to make it seem like it's a. Wow. Wow. <laughs> like it, it holds any weight at all. It, it does not. Ooh. Ooh. That's what we're talking about. Comparing eternal life to this, this physical life that we have. 120 years does not compare to thousands or eternity. Eternity. Uh, endless. It's endless. endless. Yeah. Wow. And yet we have... Many of people have sold themselves to believe otherwise. So with that, I'm going to close out. But I'd like you to close out with something that equals what we just talked about. Okay. That's Lazarus and Rich Man. Okay. You remember that? 
it could if you tell me you could tell you can see it yourself that it equals it it goes it line what we talking about it does not matter of fact <laughs> the, the scriptures the suffering <laughs> of this world does not compare to the glory that will be revealed come on and this is truly explaining that right here right here hey everybody god bless you i i hope that you enjoyed the session that you just listened to and i hope you get to look at all listen to all the sessions for this segment that we did or this study session or the discussion that we did today uh we did this on the i think it's, 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 it's the august i think it was the i think it's the 13th of august that this session was done uh, and like i said all the sessions you will see throughout the week and, and, and i just want you to remember and here's the topic we did today let me go ahead and put that up you can see what we I, I know you saw it at the beginning of the session and i just want to make sure you got it here wrap it up on the closing of the session it says does the human eyes of others mean it's okay with god to steal kill and destroy following john 10 10. <laughs> and i hope that you got the answer which is no it's it's not okay with god to steal, kill, destroy. It's not okay with God to discriminate against other people, your fellow man. It's not okay. It's not okay to, to try to get as much as you can for your life, as much as you can for your family or your friends, and think it's okay with God that you do these things at the, at the uh, detrimental of somebody else's life. That you dehumanize other people so you can go ahead and and, and do the atrocities of history or do the atrocities of faith or to sit there and, 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 and ignore truth and accept the lie or conspire to do something that you know will only give somebody else who's trying to do bad things a way out. You are believers and you need to show people who you are as a believer so that you can make a difference in their life we come, we are called to preach the gospel. And the equation of the gospel is eternal life. And therefore, we want us to remind ourselves and remind those we come in contact with that it's about eternal life. It doesn't matter whether some people have not faith in eternal life. It matters to us because we're believers. And as believers, we believe in eternal life. We make the confession that Jesus Christ, our personal Lord and Savior. We want to bear the fruits of the Spirit, found in Galatians 5, 22 and 23. Now the fruits of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, because such there's no law. We want to have eternal life just as in John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. We want you to understand that vain glory does not equal eternal life. We want you to understand that a false balance does not equal eternal life. We want you, and like I said, put it in a scale, right? When you put it in a scale, you sit there and say that if God is not in the equation and the Holy Spirit, and eternal life is not an equation of decision, then the scale is not balanced. And if it's not balanced, it equals eternal death. But if you put God in the equation of the decision, you put eternal life in the equation of the decision, so that what you do does and focus on eternal life, it makes a difference. But not to steal, kill, and destroy. That's what we talked about today. And I hope you enjoy the session, and I hope you come back and do listen to all the sessions and continue to deal with this platform support this platform don't forget to subscribe um, and leave comments if you can and remember Yeshua is, is Lord amen so no vain glory focus on truth focus on life focus on eternal life don't let that be in jeopardy because of personal gain because all those who died before you judgment has come to them. Don't let judgment come to you because you already made the right choice and your behavior lines up with that choice. 
But if your behavior don't allow that choice, then you you right. You have eternal death. <laughs> and there's a lake of fire waiting for you. And that's what your choice. And we give you that free choice. Or oh, I I don't give it to you. God gives it to you. I just hope you choose life. Amen. God bless you. I see you when I see you. And like I said, don't forget to subscribe. God bless. Bye bye. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives.